Many of you guys have tagged me in these videos of this man walking around Nashville with seemingly half of his head and his brain exposed. My name is Dr. Betsy Grunch and I'm a board certified neurosurgeon, so let me explain. First off, I want to say that I do not know this patient. I don't know exactly what happened to him, but I'm going to give you my best guess as to what's going on and how he can seemingly be walking around with half of his head and his brain missing but yet he seemed relatively normal. These are the images that are circulating around social media that are pretty graphic, so I'm only going to show the censored version. What we see is a man that's sitting on a park bench with half of his brain and his skull exposed, but he's acting like nothing's wrong. When someone sustains a traumatic brain injury that causes their brain to swell, sometimes as neurosurgeons, we have to remove a part of their skull to allow their brain to swell. Traditionally, that's called a hemicraniectomy where we make an incision on the side of the brain that has the swelling and we remove that part of the skull to allow that part of the brain to swell. You see, the skull is in an enclosed space, so if there's any type of brain swelling that's significant, it can actually lead to brain death. So as surgeons, we can go in and remove a part of the skull that allows the brain to swell during that period after the accident to save that person's life and then later go back and replace that part of the skull. That's exactly what happened several months ago with Dancing with the Stars. Haley Herbert, whenever she sustained a stroke, leading her to have the surgery. Now, in some cases where there's a bifrontal injury, we can actually make an incision that goes ear all the way across to ear and remove both parts of the skull from the front to allow the brain to swell in that fashion. After the brain swelling goes down, the brain actually shrinks and there will be a divot where the skull is missing and the skin is covering the brain. Best guess is he was in some type of accident many months ago that led him to have a significant brain injury. He had to have this emergency surgery to remove the skull. Now the swelling has gone down and he's developed some type of infection overlying that incision that's broken down the tissues and is leading his skull and his brain exposed to the world. Now, from what I've gathered on social media outlets, that this patient has reportedly been non-compliant. So my assumption is that he has had some type of skin breakdown and has refused treatment to have this repaired. He's most likely months after his original trauma and is at the point where the brain swelling has gone down and probably at the point where a skull could be replaced. However, now he's had some type of infection and exposed the tissue underneath. You can probably imagine with this type of tissue being exposed, he runs the risk of developing an infection in his brain, which could potentially be life-threatening. To repair this, he would need extensive antibiotics, assistance with plastic surgery for complete skull vault reconstruction. With this history of all this tissue being exposed, runs an extremely high risk not being able to cure this infection completely. Again, I don't know the specifics, but this would be an extremely challenging case for all the medical team involved, and of course, for the patient that has to be compliant with treatment for it to be successful. My thoughts go out to him in hopes that he can get the treatment that he needs.